Hey guys, Rick Personas here, back with our video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a bass house drop like abstract. So what we're going over is typical lead, his drums, and a bass. So if you want a project file, make sure to check the link down below. You can find it on my Patreon. Besides that, all the drums and presets are coming from the new pack, Bass House Form 5. So if you want that, make sure to check the link down below. So now let's dive into it. So the same part consists of two layers, sounding like this. Where the bass part and the lead part. So first we're gonna dive into the lead. So select in a preset. We're gonna make it from scratch. Both oscillators are gonna be two ups down. Sounding like this. We're gonna be heavily detuned. With eight and six unisons. Detune de up quite high. For the second one, just a little bit less detunement. Now we're gonna shape it with LFO1. So shape it like this, select trigger, and route it to the level of both oscillators. Sounding, sounding like this. So now we're gonna filter it. We'll be using low 12. Route LFO1, route LFO1 to the cutoff. Then we're gonna add some noise to the sound. We'll be using the bright white sounding like this. So we're gonna write LFO1 to it. Just to get some more sparks to the high end. And that's it for us later. So now let's dive in effects. So first more unisons. We're gonna use the hyper just on here. Then distort it. Here's the hard clip. It's like a pre-gain. Just like this. Then we're gonna bump up the drive and mix all the way up. And then we're gonna add some OTT before the distortion. Drag like the threshold and put it again. Just like this. White right noise is a little bit too loud, so we're gonna reduce it. And then we're gonna add some reverb and delay to finish it off. Remove the lows and the reverb, just to make room for the bass line. And that's it for the F-Stack lead, so... Now we're gonna dive in the bass line. So let's make the bass from scratch as well. It sounds like this right now. So it's a typical 808 style bass line, so let's make it from scratch. First one, first oscillator gonna be a sine wave. Wave table just around here, two ups down. Then we're gonna select the band minus, put it up halfway. This, this will add some more harmonics to the sine wave. Now we're gonna, add a, then we're gonna add a saw wave, two ups down as well, and filter it. We'll be using low twenty four. Then we're gonna route LFO one to the cutoff, to around halfway. Same shape as the previous sounds. Drive just on here. Stack the mono and the portamento just a little bit up. Then we're gonna add a punch to the sound. So shape envelope two like this. And right into the master tuning. Put it up two octaves. You can hear this well. This as you can hear this well. Give this kind of pitch effect. So. Just use it really subtle. Then we're gonna run the same envelope to the cutoff. Then we'll add some effects. So first some tube distortion. Put up the drive to around here. It's like a pre-gain. To around here just to make sure to cut out the highs of the sound. Then we're gonna EQ it, frequency all the way down, and boost it a little bit bit again. Just to boost the sub end of the sound. Then the last thing we're gonna add is the filter. Just 
just to make sure there aren't any highs in it. So cut off around here, put up some drive to match the loudness. And that's it for the bass sound, so together with the lead it sounds like this. So now let's move over to the drums. So the drums are fairly simple but really groovy, so first we're starting off with the foundation, the kick drum, with a clap, just a really short clap, open hi hat and then the most important part of the drums, the snares, that's already added a groove to it. So we got this first snare, bend to the left, slightly off the grid as well, and then the second snare. Bend to the right of the grid as well, just to add a, just to add a groove. And then we added this closed hi hat. So the first one is right after the first open hat, and the second one before the, before the third open hi hat. So together the hats will sound like this. Then add a snare. Together all the drums will sound like this. Then we route it to a bus channel with some soft clipping. We boosted the transients. Just bring up, just bring out the attack some more. Some glue compression, which is some parallel compression. So first compress really hard and then drag back the mix to around 50%. And then the last thing we added is this transient shaper. Just to open up the hi-hats a little bit more. And that's it for the drums. And that's it for the hashtag videos. So the final result will sound like this. If you're on the project file, check my Patreon. If you're on the presets, check the new pack down below. And if you like the video, please leave a like to see more and the subscribe button. And I'll see y'all in the next videos.